What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we are going to create and modify a floor slab. Okay, so let's get this thing started. Alright, so I'm gonna check out my properties first. So here on the property, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna change the underlay. Underlay can be found here. This one, underlay. So as you can see, the range base level here is set to none. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change this to ground floor. So take note that I am on garage floor level. So if I select here ground floor level and then I apply, so you'll be able to see here the underlay of your ground floor. Okay, so that's what you do. So you can use the underlay here and then the underlay orientation is looking down. So as you can see, I also have here the capacity to specify the range top level which is currently main floor okay right so after we change the underlay the next thing that i'm gonna do here is from the structure i'm going to select here the uh floor structural so i'm gonna select this one okay and then after that here from the options bar so i'm gonna make sure that the extend into wall or extend into wall to core is selected okay so we're going to extend into the wall core okay then after that uh using the peak lines tool so we are going to select the exterior walls of this building using the outline as our guide here Okay, so I'm going to position my cursor to the foundation wall, not that one, which is, this is the one. So this is the foundation wall, so the other one here is the footing, which is what we did last time. So I'm going to hover my pointer to the exterior side of the wall foundation and do not select it. You can just press tab once because what we want to do is we want to highlight all the uh, foundation wall okay we can click that one by one like that like what we did last time on our floor you can click one by one but you can also do this so you hover your pointer to the exterior side of the wall foundation and then press tab once do not hold the tab just press it once like that and then you will now be able to see that it highlights so once it highlights you click to select the exterior well, so as you can see, the outline now is placed on that face. Okay, and then we can specify here the properties. So let's say for the properties, I'm going to change this one. I'm going to use here the concrete 300 mm. So let me select that. And then after that, let us just finish. That's it. So just click that one. And no need to load the span direction symbol. So I'll just select here, no. And there you go. So let's check this one out in the 3D view. So I'm going to select the 3D and this is the one that we just created. Okay. Right. Now the next thing that we're going to do here is going back to our garage floor. So I'm going to turn on now here the underlay. I don't need the underlay anymore. So from the underlay here, I'm just going to select your none and then I'll just select your again apply. There you go. So there's now our slab. Now, the next thing that we will be doing is we're going to add a thick end edge. Okay, so we're going to create a slab edge. Okay, so from the uh, structure, there's the floor. So we are going to use here a slab edge. Okay, so let's select this one. And then I'm going to place my cursor to the new floor here. And then again, I'm going to press tab once to highlight all the edge and then click to create the slab edge. Click that. All right. And then you can see here one element is completely inside another. So our slab edge is actually overlapping with the floor. So that's why we are going to uh, modify that. So we are going to move it below. Okay. So for this one, just select here. Okay. Let's just accept that. And then let's check that one out in 3D view. Okay, and then just click outside. So if I'm going to change my uh, visual style, so let's say to uh, wireframe view. So let's click wireframe. 
So you will be able to see here your slab edge. See that one? So that's your slab edge and then it's highlighting or it's overlapping with our floor here. So remember, this is our floor slab and our slab edge is also inside the floor slab. So we're going to select the slab edge like that. And then we're going to uh, modify the vertical profile offset here on our properties. We're going to move it below. So let's change this like, uh, let's say, minus 300 and then enter. And there you go. And then just click outside. So if I change my view to... Uh, shaded view so this is now how it looks like so you can look there so there's now our slab edge okay so let's check our section so let's create a section here so let's go to garage floor again and then let's create a section so I'm gonna click this and then let me just pick the first point here and then the second point here there you go modify let's double click the head to open up our section and there you go. So this is now the uh, floor that we have created a while ago. And then this is now the slab edge that we just created. Okay. So there's the floor and then there's our slab edge. Now the next thing that we will be doing here is uh, we're going to split the surface and we're going to add lowered points. So let's say these lowered points will going to be the drain location. Okay, so let me just go back again to my garage floor. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to select the slab. So let's click the slab. Click first outside to deselect the slab edge. This time, let's select the slab or the floor that we created. Okay, and then after that here, so there is the shape editing panel. So this is a contextual tab which only appears if you select a floor. If you click outside, you don't have any selected object, it will not appear. So let me select the floor. So there's our contextual tab. So we are now going to uh, use some uh, shape editing. So let's say I'm going to select here split line. Okay. So let me select this one. And after that, I'm going to pick here at the midpoint. So I'm going to click there. And then I'm going to click here. All right. So there's now my uh, split line. And then the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a point. Okay. So let's click add new points. Okay. And then I'm going to place it. So let's say I'm going to place one here. There you go. And then after that, so there's our uh, point. I'm going to press escape once. While the add point is still activated, I'm going to press escape once. And then you will notice my pointer becomes like this. Okay. So I can now click that point that I've just created. And then I can change the elevation. So I'm going to click that. So you can change it here or you can also change it here. Okay, so let's say this one is uh, minus 50 mm. I want that to drop minus 50 mm. So I'm going to press enter. There you go. And then this is now how it looks like. So same procedure here. So I'm going to select add point, And then I'm going to place it somewhere here. The location of the point is not critical to this exercise. Okay, like that. And then just press escape once. There you go. My pointer becomes like this one again. So I'm going to click that. Let me change that to minus 50 and then enter. All right. And then I'll just select here modify. Okay. So in 3D view, so let's check this one out in 3D view. And there you go. So as you can see, there is a slope there. Right. So let's check this one out in section view. All right. I can't see it here properly so so how about I'm gonna select this floor and then I'm going to select here selection box and then after that so let's be here so you can control the section box and then you can go check it out so as you can see there's our point there Okay, so there's a slope here going down. 
a minus uh, 50. Okay? Now, the next thing that we'll be doing is I'm going to create an opening. Okay? So, an opening. So, let me just go back again to my uh, garage floor. So, let's create an opening. So, to create an opening, so from the structure tab, so there's the opening panel here. So, you have several options here to create an opening. The one that we are going to use is vertical. Vertical opening. So, it cuts a vertical opening through a roof, floor, or ceiling. So, let's click this one. Okay, and let's say, for example, I want to put it here, the opening I want to put here. So, I'm going to pick the first point here. Okay, sorry. So, let's select vertical. So, we need to select the floor. Click that floor. Okay, and then from the create opening boundary, so let me select rectangle. And then let's create rectangle. Okay. So, let's say for this one, I want uh, 1,800 by 1800 there you go and then select here modify the location of this is not critical so basically I'm just showing you how to create the opening vertical opening and then just finish okay and let's now check this one out in 3d view okay so there's our opening so let me just adjust my section box there you go. Okay. Okay, so there's now our opening. The slab edge, so there's our uh, floor slab, slab edge, and then we have modified that so that we'll be able to have a slope here. Let's say for the location of our drain. And then there's an opening. So that's how you create the opening. Okay, so basically that's how you create and modify your floor slab. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, just put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.